So we have talked about recursion, we have talked about factorial, and now it's time to combine them. I mean, not the files, but the concept. See, when we worked with factorial, of course, we know the formula now. It's 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 for the 5 factorial, right? And we can do that with the help of for loop. But then we have also seen we can use recursion. Now you will say, how can we do factorial with recursion? Now imagine this. So let's say if you ask me, hey, what's the factorial of 5? Now I have two formulas. One formula is I can say 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. I will just multiply them and I will give you the answer, which is 120. Or I can do something like this. Now if you ask me, hey, what's 5 factorial? Now I'll think, okay, 5 factorial is actually 5 into 4 factorial. Think about this. What is 4 factorial? It's 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is already part of 5 factorial, right? So can I say, can I just merge that 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 as 4 factorial? I can. And that's 5 into 4 factorial. And you will say, okay, but what's the use of that? The use is, when you ask me about 5 factorial or or you can say factorial of 5, I can ask someone else, you know, I can do 5 into 4 factorial, you give me the factorial of 4. And actually, I'm not talking to someone else, I'm talking to myself. Okay, so when you ask me factorial of 5, I'm asking factorial of 4. Now that me says, okay, 4 factorial is what? 4 factorial is 4 into 3 factorial. Now, that me is dependent on other me by saying, okay, you give me 3 factorial. And that me will say, okay, 3 into 2 factorial. It's actually I would need help with the 2 factorial. Now that goes to some, someone else. And that person says, uh, that me says, 2 factorial is 2 into 1 factorial. And we know 1 factorial is 1. So 2 factorial knows now it's 1. So 2 into 1 is 2. Then 3 factorial says, okay, I got the value from you, which is 2. So it's 3 into 2 is 6. Now, 3 factorial says the answer is 6. The 4 factorial says, okay, it's 4 into 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 6. So, 4 into 6 is 24. And then 4 factorial says it's 24. Now, factorial 5, which is actual me, says, okay, uh, 5 into 24 is 120. And you got 120. That's, my friend, is recursion. Okay, but how do we do it? In the code. So, let's try. So, let me create a new file, which is fact recursion.py and in this I need to disable my or snooze my copilot okay so what we what we're going to do is see certain things are confirmed so if I just copy this code and put it here the only thing which you want to change is the logic everything remains same the function name remains same the values which you're sending remain same let's not send thousand uh, because I want to know the value let's stick to five this should return a result and that's what you're going to print here. And by default, let me say return one so that you will not see any error there. But then how we are going to achieve that? It's very simple actually. Instead of returning one, someone says, I want the factorial of five. You can say, okay, a factorial of five is actually five into factorial of four. Simple, right? If you can do that, your job is done. But this is not the solid numbers. We can just say num. And here we can say num minus 1 because if you're passing 5 you want to find the factorial of 4 so it is now minus 1 now you will say okay but that's for 5 into 4 factorial how will you get 4 factorial see here we are calling the same function by passing 4 now this function will be called again by with the value 4 and that will say okay 4 into factorial of 3 now it will call this function again by passing 3 here, which is 3 into factorial of 2. Now this goes again here as 2, so that's 2 into factorial of 1. And this goes here again by saying 1, and now we don't have to do that 1 into 0 factorial. What you can do is in that case, check if num is equal to equal to 1, in that case return 1. Your job is done. So this is the end limit. So more you call, it will go till 1 and then it will stop. Now, it will not stop. It will go back, right? Uh, so, remember that me who was responsible to do for factorial of 1 will return it to the factorial of 2, which will return it to factorial of 3, which will return it to factorial of 4, and to factorial of 5. First, we'll see the output, and then we'll do that in the debug mode to see if it is actually working or not. So, I'm going to run this. I'm going to say python fact recursion.py, enter, and you can see we got 120. But then let's do that in the... Uh, 
the debug mode i will just click here and i want to start the debugging now so i will say debug the python file yeah so debugging started so it started from here but i want to get into this function of fact so i will just say step into now we went into fact now certain things you have to observe here one is a local variable which is num which is five then we got a call stack okay so every time you call a function it goes into call stack and this is a function which you have which is fact which is called once but now if i again say step into so you can see the value of num is not one it is five so it it skipped this if it went here and now it says the num of the value of num is five so five into factorial of four now when you say step into observe multiple things here on the left hand side in the call stack and in the code here as well so when i do that oh, by mistake i clicked on step oh I, I wanted to get into step into uh, no issue i will just do that once again my bad so let's say step into and now if you observe now we got two fact calls one for the fact of five this fact of four and the value the current value the current stack so if you see here if I click here, it says the num value of num is 5. If I click here, the value of num is 4. And if I say step into again, uh, the value of num is 4. Now it will say 4 into factorial of 3. If I do step into, the call stack is increasing now. We got three functions. So this function here with the value num of 5 is dependent on 4, is dependent upon 3. When 3 returns something, it will go to 4. But we still have few more calls to do. Let's do that. Now it will again go for num of 2. We can, we can see the call stack is 5 now. And if I say step into, so it will say 2 into factorial of 1. And as soon as you get num of 1, it will return 1. But look at the call stack. We got 5 functions there. Okay. And this is dependent upon this one. This is dependent upon this one. This is dependent upon this one. This will depend upon this one. When you return from here, it will go here. When you return from here, it will go here. When you return from here, it will go here. It will when you, when you return from here, it will go here. And then this will print on the console. I mean, after that. So let's do that. So let's be in that stack. And now if I say step into, so it will return one. Now you can see the stack has reduced. One went. Now we are focusing on fact of two. So fact of one returned one. So now the number of num is 2. Now see the changes. Uh, the 2 factorial says 2. The num is 3. It will multiply. That's the operation we have. And then it became 6 because 3 into 2 was 6. Now it is 6. It will multiply by 4. So 4 into 6 is 24. And that's what you will see there, right? And then 5 into 24, which is 120. That's what you will see there. And this is what it returns at the end, which you are printing and that's why the result is 120 and that's why on the screen you will see 120 that's recursion and factorial and that's fun so thank you so much for watching i hope it makes sense see you in the next part